configuration protocol. How boring would it be if you were taxed with um, giving IP addresses to 200 devices because there was no technology to automatically assign these devices IP addressing on the network. Thank God you don't need to do that. In today's tutorial, um, as you can see from the subject, it's how to configure DHCP pool on Cisco ASA. Perhaps I could also say how to configure DHCP D pool on Cisco ASA. Now, the steps are quite simple. Configure the DHCP pool. Step two, configure DNS service. Configure DNS domain name and then enable your pool. Now, in this topology here, you can see I've got my ASA here. What I have is a 5506X firepower. I've got my outside network, uh, inside network, and my DMZ network over here. You can see that there. Let me just drag this over here, really. Um, inside network and outside network. Now, this 172.16.20.1 is going to be the gateway address for all devices and the LAN network here. Now, the LAN is this bit here. Uh, we're going to try and partition it quickly, so it saves you and I worrying about where the LAN zone really is. So here's our LAN, okay? All right, and we want to configure DCP to have an IP address from the subnet over here with the gateway of one. So let's get started. Let me just get into my ASA. So I'm on the ASA and the first thing I need to do is follow the instructions on the page or on in the lab here. So it's configure your DHCP pool. Now it's important for you to um, configure it and give it a range and specify which zone is coming in. But let me use interface gigabit 17. So configure T interface gigabit one slash seven and the name of that interface sorry guys name if inside see what happens immediately yes so the security level is set for 100 because it's trusted by uh, the asa as a trust network trust zone Okay, um, let me give it an IP address. IP address of that interface is 172.16.20.1. Double check that, and that's correct. Uh, 255.255.255.0. Okay. Uh, description, I will say LAN network. No shot. So the gateway is ready. Okay, so the gateway of 172.16.20.1 is ready, uh, but my devices don't have any IP address to work at the moment. Um, but let me just ping my gateway to make sure it's live. 16.20.1. And there we go, it's available. Okay, um, then second one says you uh, configure. Um, your DNS service. So to, to start with first, let's go ahead and create our pool. This was just to uh, configure the interface to accept requests. So go ahead to conf t and then you type DHCP D. Watch what happens here. D. Good. And you type the address and it is 172.16.20. Let's start from 100. Oh, let's start from 10 maybe. Uh, to 172.16.20. And let's end on maybe 50. And it's on the inside inside uh, zone. Okay, so you've done that. Now there's something called a DSCPD option three, which happens to be the default gateway or the gateway of last resort um, and option three is what you have to specify now so you can configure the gateway under the DHCP pool. So we go ahead and we just type, like you guessed, DHCPD and we type option, type that, 
option three the many options available the IP address is 172.16.20.1 and then you press enter step two configure your DNS service let's use Google's DNS so DHCPD DNS a.8.8.8 .8 and let's use 8.8.4.4 and I'm sure we can add more if you wanted to but 2 is good enough and then we say configure DNS domain name so DHCPD so you see every one of them is DHCPD you start with okay DHCPD domain and let's call it net port and then I'll say .NET. Finally, enable your DHCP pool. Well done, it's DHCP D and enable, but where? On the inside. So request coming from the inside will be accepted. Okay. Do that. And then we can write actually save the config over there. So we've created our pool address range, we've created our option three, which is our default route out or default gateway or gate of last resort, which is the one seven two sixteen twenty dot one. We have created a DNS service to point to Google and finally we've we have created our domain name and enabled the DHCP. So let's see if this works. Okay. Now um, that interface has an IP address of dot one this device sits here I'm gonna find out what IP address it has to start with I'll have to enable that so if I do IP DHCP it's gonna do the Dora and hooray Dora is completed and here we go 172.16.20.11 you saw that there yeah yeah, view, let's zoom in a bit. Zoom in a bit again. Yeah, so 172.16.20.11 and the gateway is 20.1. So let's ping 172.16.20.1. And we are up and running. Okay, and so this is how you configure DHCP uh, on, on your Cisco ASA. Um, the config I'll stick in the description. Um, for your use but it's easy uh, DCP D address and then the range DCP D option 3 which is for your default gateway or uh, uh, gateway of last resort uh, create a DNS service um, create a domain name for yourself and finally enable the um, DCP and the direction of choice and I choose the inside because that's where I want to apply the subnet uh, uh, addresses from okay why don't you add one more machine to see if the machine also gets an IP address I'll stick the machine in here and Sorry there. Uh, click on here. Over here. Alrighty. Okay. So let's start that as well. And we, we should expect it to get an IP address of um, 172.16.20.11 is what it's got. This one got the first one. Oh, was it 10? I don't remember anymore. Uh, let's have a look. 11, that's correct. So let's see what this guy gets. Uh, let's do console. IP DH, DHCP for it to get an IP address automatically. You can perform the Dora and you see how quickly that goes. And it's the 12 just like you would have guessed so 172.16.20.12
So this is how you, you create your DSCP and that works brilliantly. So thank you for uh, visiting, uh, subscribe, view, like, comment, uh, share any ideas. I'll be happy to hear from you. All the best and here again, here we go. And let's just do some verifications. In fact, let's do some verification on DSCP. Let's go on my ASA. Did I close my ASA? I think I closed my ASA earlier. <laughs> uh, never mind. Um, so, all the best and enjoy. And speak to you soon. Bye bye.